Here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another comparison video for you and it's probably one of the biggest ones that I've ever had on my channel. It's between two pairs of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. But before we get to this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to today's sponsor. Legitmark is the standard for sneaker authentication and is the safest and most reliable place to get your sneakers authenticated. So if you have a pair at home and you're struggling to tell if it's real or fake, don't worry, Legitmark will do it for you. There's a link in the description for you to check them out. So here we have the two boxes. The retail one is on my right, the fake one is on my left. It's taken me a while to get this in my collection and now I finally have it. The retail one was purchased from a reseller all the way across in Australia. It took so long to arrive, but they're finally here. And then I have the fake one here to do the comparison for you. And this authentication is to help you if you're trying to buy the retail pair. So in terms of the box themselves, the retail one's actually a lot more damaged than the fake one. That's mainly because this is a very old shoe and it just hasn't been kept in perfect condition. But you can't really complain about that because for the age, the box is in very good condition indeed. So I'd actually like to shout out the Instagram account that I purchased these from because the transaction was so smooth, everything went perfectly fine. So his Instagram handle is right here. You can check out any of the shoes that he has. So in terms of the box themselves, can't really do a color difference between the two just because this one has aged over time. What I would say is the black is slightly darker on the fake pair and the red is slightly brighter on the fake pair, but this can't really be compared just because of the aging of the box. So we'll take a closer look at the labels themselves. So if you look at the labels, once again, the fake one is based on a US label, so obviously has the US price tag, whereas the retail one was purchased in Australia, so it doesn't have this price tag on the side. However, if you look at the text all over the label, you can see differences in font size and positioning across the label itself. But these are just the minor differences to look for on the box themselves however we'll open them up take a look at the shoes because nobody wants me to talk about the boxes for the whole video so we'll start with the fake one lift off the lid as you can see the shoes are completely exposed there's no paper covering the shoes it's just flat on the bottom of the box and if i show you the retail one the paper is covering the shoes the paper itself is actually completely broken however and the shoes lie underneath here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the nike air jordan one shattered backboard can you tell any differences between these two so here we have the two pairs and I'll just be going into the differences of what to look for if you're trying to purchase the retail pair. So the first difference I'm going to point out actually comes with the accessories on the shoe. So if you take a look at the left shoe here for the fake one, you can see it comes with a spare set of white laces. This actually occurs on the retail pair too. The laces were actually detached though just because it's an old shoe and I think that plastic has just ripped the top. However, as you can see from the close up, the laces are set out a little bit differently. On the fake one, you can see the lacing is looped, whereas on the retail one, you can see it is a very different appearance. Also, the color is slightly different. I would say the fake one is a more crystal white compared to that of the retail one. But now we'll get into the shoes themselves. So if I show you them side by side here and look at the toe box area, we can see difference in the actual material on the toe box. So if we look at the orange toe box here and take a look at the quality of the leather, you can see a lot of differences between the two pairs. The retail one is very well known. The quality of leather on this pair is one of the best out of all the Jordans ever. So if you look at this compared retail to fake, you can see that the quality of leather on the fake one just isn't on par with that of the retail one. And this is very obvious to note when you run your finger across the toe box. The quality of leather is very different and even the feel of it is very different. Sticking towards the front of the shoe and then we take a look at these two side panels which are the black leather here, you can see differences here in the actual appearance. So the retail one, once again, is well known for having this kind of sparkly like glittered black leather on the side. Whereas if you look at the fake one, this appearance just doesn't have, it's just a plain black leather and just makes the overall shoe appearance very different and especially in certain lightings where the retail one actually shimmers in the light whereas the fake one does not. Spinning the shoe around to the back and taking a look at that hourglass shape, even though this pair is incredibly old, it is dead stock and you can see that that hourglass shape between the retail and fake is very different. The fake ones never seem to get this hourglass shape correct whereas the retail one has that perfect hourglass shape on the back. Another thing to note about these shoes is they're both dead stock, however, the fake one has decided to pre-lace the shoe, whereas all dead stock Jordan 1s should come 
with just the single lace at the bottom and then allow you to lace them yourselves. So that is something to note if you are trying to purchase a dead stock pair, they should not come pre-laced like the fake one does here. Taking a look at the side and the Air Jordan Wings logo, if you look at the orange leather beneath this, once again, you can see the quality difference between the two. You can see on the retail one how soft and high quality that leather is. You can see the creasing underneath the Wings logo. Whereas if you look at the fake one, it just doesn't have the same appearance. Also, the color is slightly darker than it is on the retail one. This is easy to note when you're looking at the back of the shoe. If you look at the back of the shoe in certain lightings, you can see the orange on the retail pair is a much lighter orange compared to the fake one. Spinning the shoe back around to the front and taking a look at the Nike Air tag on the tongue, we can see differences here again in terms of the actual color. The Nike Air symbol on the retail one is a lighter orange than it is on the fake one. And also, if you take a look underneath, the same color in text where it says made in China is different from retail to fake. Taking a look at the underside of the shoe and looking at the sole color, there is slight differences once again. The retail one being a lighter orange than the fake one, they just don't seem to have the color of the orange absolutely spot on, which is kind of strange seeing as this shoe has been out for a while and they have had a chance to perfect it. But looking directly from below, you can see a color difference, especially in studio lighting. And now if I zoom in on the Nike logo on the sole, we can see differences here once again. If you look at the R symbol to the right of the Nike logo, you can see that it looks very different from retail to fake. Now let's take out the inner shoe trees. So if we compare these side by side, we can see difference between the retail and fake. On the retail one, you can see the symbols actually stick outwards on the cardboard shoe tree, whereas on the fake one, they are indented. So there's a clear difference between the retail and fake here. And if we spin them upside down, we can see that on the fake one, it says die cut sock liner, whereas on the retail one, this actually doesn't occur on this pair. So as you can see from this video, from afar, these might fool quite a lot of people, but from up close, there are differences you can look for if you are trying to authenticate your pair. The telltale signs to look for is the actual quality of the leather because the retail pair is such high quality and the actual feel of them is very different to the fake one. Also look out for that shimmering black like leather on the top. That's a telltale sign when looking side by side because they do look very different when you're holding them next to each other. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped you. And if you have a pair and you're still struggling to tell the difference, use LegitMark. There's a link in the description and they'll authenticate your pair for you. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, it does help the channel grow and I'll hopefully do even bigger videos than this one. But thanks for watching, have a great day.